Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm back with a different kind of video today. It's one I've been wanting to do for a long, long time and I'm finally ready. Um, I talk all the time about how I have a process journal. I call it my process notebook. And I, I wanted to do like a journal with me to show you what I do every day. Um, maybe not 100% every single day, but I, I think I'm up there in the high 90s percentage wise that I get into this notebook nearly every day. And I kind of do a check-in with myself in the early afternoon. I try to make it not too late in the day because my purpose for this is to see how I'm doing so far and if there are things that I've either neglected or I can do something about still. I don't want to wait till evening for this particular journaling. Some other writing that I do, I can do any time and I, I can definitely do in the evening. So first of all, I want to tell you what this is. For those who don't know, this is a uh, CVS Caliber notebook, and I love it because it'll take all my fountain pen inks. I can even paint with fountain pen ink in this notebook, and it doesn't bleed through. It's just spectacular. So it is an 11 by 8.5 notebook by CVS Caliber, and I can't remember how much I paid, but I believe it was right in the $5 range. It couldn't have been much more than that. And if you get in there when they're having a buy one, get one half off, you can do even better. It's college ruled. It's got a hundred sheets and it's like really fountain pen friendly. So the other thing I want to do before I start is show you in the front it has pockets. So it's got two pockets. It's got one here and one here. And it gives me a great place to put things that I might need like, you know, little lists and, and my stencils. Right now I've got my main stencil out. But still, I put it back in here. And the other reason for looking in this cover is I want to make sure that you understand that as I'm talking about the uh, three main areas with nine focuses, that this isn't something I made up. Um, you know, I want to give credit where credit is due. And that goes to uh, my counselor, Tim Tate, who... Um, you know, kind of created this idea of LIFT, which is life improvement. Uh, oh, dear. I forgot what. OK, life improvement focused therapy. He's not your everyday counselor. And he was uh, an angel in my life. Believe me, after my father died, I went to see him. And I also went to a depression support group that he ran. And that was where I was introduced to the idea of these areas of paying real good attention to your mind, body, and spirit, and with six very specific things, uh, communication, education, and meditation for your mind, and then nutrition, exercise, and sleep for your body, and then, uh, do, you know, having fun or doing something for yourself, doing something for others, which I call service. It's going to come out a little bit different in mine, probably. And then higher power, which I also, I call gratitude. But so you've got mind, body, and spirit. And it's all so simple. But um, this is not something I made up. And I wanted to be sure I was attributing this to him. And um, I... I still see him here locally and it, not in counseling anymore because he taught me too well and I don't need it anymore right now. But anyway, let's dive right in and we'll go through, we'll just do a journal with me basically. Um, when I sit down to do this, I always bring my pens. This is always in, in the front because the first thing I do every day is put the number for the day. It's just a little thing that I do. So, um, Today's the 15th, so I put, I just trace this number, and I don't always color it in right away. Sometimes I wait and see what strikes me as to whether I'm going to get out a paintbrush or whether I'm going to use a, a colored pencil or even one of my fountain pens. That's often what happens once I see what colors I'm choosing. Um, because I've got all those fountain pens inked up. I got at least eight, I think, inked up. They may not all be right in the Knox Sinclair, but they're they're around here. <laughs> so I always put at the top the date. It just kind of, I don't know, makes me happy, especially when I get to the point where I'm filling it in. And then my next step is to get in my pen case. And I got a fully loaded uh, Knox and Clear here with all of my uh, fountain pens that I'm using right at the moment, just about all of them. I think I'm going to start with this one because I know I have purple in here and I just put a broad nib on there. And then I have this to help me, my currently inked, because um, 
I just came out of 30 inks 30 days and I can't always remember what I've got in these pens. So this is just my brain, you know, my little helper brain. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the right, yeah, I'm in the right zone. Okay, so then what I do at the top of my notebook, <clears throat> I start by putting these things. And I do this every day even though it's very repetitive. So I put um, the date, I put October 15. 2019 and then I always put an at sign and I put the time let's see I guess I have the time on this little thing 233 yep. I don't I guess that's important to me sometimes when I look back to see well what time was I writing this so then I put my nine elements that I'm focusing on that I'm always kind of aware of that if I'm hitting these things I'm, I'm doing good self-care and I'm also preventing depression from returning. So I put communicate. I put educate. He always used to say, learn something new every day. And it doesn't always have to be about depression or about self-care. It could be all the different subjects because that learning really, really helps us, I think. And then I put meditate. Okay, so we have the mind there. And then I put sleep. And of course, I'm looking back on yesterday when I'm looking at that. Nutrition. Exercise. Okay, and then over here. So now we have the body. <clears throat> and then I put fun. And then I put service. I think he, he used a different word. What was it he used? Others or something like that. But it doesn't matter. That's what, that's what it means to me. In sometimes when I go ahead and, and check that as that I've done it, it, it could even just be writing a letter. It's, it is just something nice for someone else or, and or service. If let's say I do something related to my mom's guardianship, I feel that I have done something that day that was in service to someone else. And then I put, well, it says higher power, but I put gratitude. That ju that's just my, the word that I like. And I have a separate little gratitude journal that I, I do. And this is the one I'm in right now. So I have my pen, a, a new pen from, a gift from a pen friend is, is attached to that because I'm trying it out and using it in here and it's going really well. Uh, the other thing I do, just, I should have mentioned this before, I have my stickers, I have my washi, and I have uh, little bits, journaling bits, stacked up over here where I can get them. Sometimes I don't use them, and I, I'm right here on my desk, or pen desk, where I have my glue stick. But it is nice to have everything around, gathered. So, There. Okay. So as I was saying, the first thing I come in and do is I find out whether at this stage of the day, which is getting a little bit late in the afternoon, where I'm at, what have I done so far? Well, I know right off the bat that we went for a walk this morning. So I, I did get my exercise. It was pretty good too. It was, uh, let's see, I, I have my pedometer and I, I can, uh, I look back on that. I need to remember to strap that back on though because I'm not by any means done. We had a 21 minute walk and it was, uh, a, well, it says a mile and a half but of aerobic walking. Anyway, that's good. So I get to check that off. I had good sleep last night and I usually check it and I put, if it's eight, I'll just put like eight plus. So I know I had really good sleep. For me, that's really good. Okay. And then, um, I start to think about the, okay, education. I know I've watched some videos today that were extremely helpful. So I'm going to check that off. I haven't actually written any letters yet. I haven't written in my gratitude book yet. And a lot of times when I get to this stage, fun, yes. I've been at my pen desk playing with an orange ink and I would call that fun. Um, nutrition. My nutrition today so far has been good. So I'm, I'm going to write good. I'll come back in later too because there's more day left, but not much in my eating window. There's not much left. What I usually do at this stage is go ahead and circle which areas I think, you know, yeah, I still want to do my gratitude notebook, of course, and 
communicate because I did plan to write a letter today. So there's that. Oh, service. I did. Oh, I mailed out something cool today to a, a friend. So that's that's what I call doing something for someone else or, you know, that's a nice balance there. And yeah, meditate is later. So so there we go. So at that stage, <clears throat> then I'll write down anything that that is sort of on my mind about any of these things. And this is where I get to start really enjoying my pens, you know, just see what I've got and, and get in there. <laughs> it's funny, this is like the first one I grab. It's got that, uh, it's the, the Twisby Go pen and it's a broad nib and it's got uh, diamine ochre in it. And it seems like it's the first one I keep grabbing every day after I use the purple, after I grab the moon man, which I just, uh, I might as well talk about that since <laughs> this is uh, an obsession of mine. I just put a broad nib on this and it just amazing. It was great with the fine medium nib that came on it. There was no scratchiness and it wrote really good, but I just love a broad nib. So I put a broad nib on it and I just been really enjoying it. So um, this is, you know, I, I realize I may not be as personal as I normally am doing this as a journal with me. and. So it's going to be a little bit weird, but um, I, I use I, you know, I make little boxes and I just put like uh, gratitude journal. That's something. Gratitude journal. And then letter. Because I definitely want to let, write the letter before. I mean, there is one I wanted to get out, um, to go out tomorrow morning. Okay, meditate. There was a real specific thought I had about that earlier, too. Hmm. But right now, it's, it's kind of leaving me. I just heard the trash cans come in, so I know that's that's already been done. <laughs> I, I give today, so far, a very good rating in terms of, I, I you know, to get exercise before the evening hours, that's really good. And the fact that I slept good last night is very, very good. And I had time to do something that was a little bit fun for me. Been looking at this orange ink and it's just gorgeous, but I took it a little beyond that. I'm ready to do the video, but I wanted to really compare it with Sailor Apricot and a couple of others. So that's been a real treat today. Tomorrow's gonna be a different story. It's gonna be really busy. So um, I'm going to put down meditate, but I wish I could remember just exactly what it was. That there was something specific I wanted to do different today. Hmm. I know, you know, I've been doing a lot of work around intentions and color and the whole nine yards, but it's just not coming up for me just yet. Okay, so a lot of times I end up with it with an area just devoted to to do and it all connects with my bullet journal because I come back in and um, this is where I'm really super messy really I, I it's not not anything that's really very fancy um, sometimes I will go ahead and I will use this uh, this was actually a year in review journal exercise but it was a daily one too so I would change um, what was the best thing that happened today rather than the year. This is an old one and I couldn't find the right one. What was the worst thing that happened today I would put instead of the year. But uh, the interesting thing about this is that sorry about that I had a little interruption. The, the best thing we can do is make sure that in our journaling we're balancing the good with the challenge or you know the positive with the negative the the um, you you get what I'm saying so that we're not journaling um, we're not leaving out anything that was bringing us down but we're also not focusing just on that so it makes it uh, better for us and this was this is something that I had modified to try to teach a class once so it's not really what the original was that Tim had given me but it's um, it's very, very close to it, and you just can make it for the whole year to do year in review, or you can make it for your day. So sometimes I look at this and I think about, um, yeah, like, what was the most stupid thing I experienced today? What was the most stressful thing that happened today, and how did I deal with it? How did I like how I dealt with it? Because sometimes I just meet the page, and it's like, I, I don't, I'm not ready to really write much. 
in fact, there are times when I have to look at a feelings list to know what's going on with me. And uh, I have a really good one for that, too. Uh, that one was something that was given to me at Unity. And the, the, the Unity minister there gave this to us during a class. And we could look for the feeling we were having, like say we were angry or we were discouraged. And then we could look over and she's given a list of missing resource. In other words, what might be going on, you know, um, <laughs> I need a ruler to see across there because that caught my eye where it says confident. Confident. We might need beauty. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Embarrassed. Contribution. So it's sort of like opposites. Frustrated. We, we're missing ease or joyful. We need harmony. Or harmony. I don't see how you're missing a resource if you're joyful, but maybe maybe it's just uh, kind of in general there. Resentful, we might need order. So yeah, that's that's one of those. It's just real helpful to me. So I keep all those things tucked in those uh, front sides there, you know, the front. And that's how I go about it. And uh, I try to keep it from just being a checklist, but of course I'm shy, camera shy right now because I know that that uh, when I upload it, it'll be viewed. But that's the very first thing, is just to see, did I take care of my mind, body, and, and spirit today? And with what's left of the day, are there any little things that I might focus on? And a lot of times I'll go ahead and draw a line. It doesn't look like there's just like a pile of stuff that still needs to be done today. And then I'll start looking at, at tomorrow. So I would put like October 16th. And then I might, anything that comes up while I'm doing this, in fact, usually I'll make a box, but I don't know how big it's going to be yet. So um, I already know that it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. So definitely have errands. <clears throat> okay. And then um, a lot of times I want to do something creative. So because I'm, I'm so slow to start that, my very first creative thing is to fill in my number for the day. And, and I'm starting to feel a little funny here, but because it's, it's a little bit of overexposure, but not so much really. So today I decided to do with my paintbrush and use what's a, a little bit of what's left of the orange soleil or whatever it's called there. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure at all that this is detailed enough of a brush, but I'm going to at least get it started with this. It's just such a beautiful ink. So I don't always do it this way. In fact, a lot of times lately, I'm doing with my pens. What I plan to do is just do a little bit and then get the pen out. It's right here with me anyway. But this will just save me time filling it in. Whoops. And there I go again, purple and orange. <laughs> but I don't mind. This is the color I wanted to see on here. Both colors, actually. Yep, I would have been better off to just use the pens because that's not detailed enough. And I can't get a good angle when I'm working uh, on the desk like this. Ouch! My neck went pop pop. So this is the, one of the review pens. I'll have to make sure I don't scramble these too bad. And it's already got today's ink. Or the ink that I'm doing right now, reviewing. And I don't have to be perfect. I just want it. it it's really neat when you're flipping through looking for a day. Because then I'll almost recognize it. I'll recognize it by the month, by the color. And then I'll recognize it by the number when I'm looking for a certain day. But like I said, this this paper will take just about anything. That's why it's been really hard. I've got a really nice composition Loistrum. But I just can't bring myself to use it because I know I can't. I know I can't slop on the ink on that like I do with this. And also on days when I'm really, really messy uh, or having any sort of, you know, things that need to really be written out <clears throat> and maybe torn up later because that happens. Uh, I don't want to be using expensive paper either, so. So see, it doesn't even go through. <clears throat> so I love this. It's a daily ritual for me to work in this. <clears throat> Let's see. So I'm feeling so shy. I guess I should just get out some washi and different things like that and just try to break through it. Once I get messy enough, it's amazing what all happens on these pages. 
I think I wanted to try this one. Even though it may not go with it, I really like this flames one. That's what I like to draw, is flames. That's probably what I should be drawing. And even though it's lined, I do like to draw on this. Oh yeah, yeah, we're really going to have some wild colors here. <laughs> I can put that down. It's, I think, the first time I've put it down on a page. Huh. Cut it off. Okay, I think I'm over it now. I want to just draw something. That's actually how I felt yesterday, too. I, I had some things rolling around in my mind, and I really just didn't want to uh, write. I just wanted to draw, so. But I love to draw flames, so I might as well go with that with my, I had the washi there. I'm not sure how this will work because I got the tripod and I forget to think about it drying too. Okay, when I do flames, I start at the bottom, but I really need to cover that because I don't want to smear it right here, right to start with. Okay. I can tell I don't have as steady of a hand because I'm working around the tripod. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I I really like doing the flames. <clears throat> I always have since I was in high school, so. You see, I wouldn't want to do this probably on an expensive notebook. That's It's one of my blocks because this is just, you know, whatever is going on <laughs> for the day and a lot of times it's stuff that I come back later and I rip it up because it's not really how I want to be remembered you know <laughs> uh, and I don't mean the art I mean like sometimes if if I'm not doing well and I'm out of sorts and I'm writing it all out ugh, you know yeah I don't really want that left behind but <laughs> not that I'm planning to go on what my mother-in-law used to call her permanent vacation I'm not you know, scheduled to go on my permanent vacation just yet, but <clears throat> still. And then that gives me a lot of chances, even later, to come back in and to, uh, I wonder if I have anything else with flames or anything. I think most of the stuff I have in here is cute, so it is, doesn't really go with flames, but let's see here. Anything that yeah, I think I need my stickers. I need my, like, skull stickers. That's what I need. Okay, I'm going to go get my skull stickers. <clears throat> there, now I feel like I remember. I wanted to use this little sticker. Um, I got two of these. Uh, one was black and one was orange in the thrift shop for, I think it was 50 cents each. And I really like them. They're sheer, so they kind of you see through but I wanted to I've wanted to use that since I saw it <laughs> like I used all the other skull ones the motifs but I wouldn't use that on a letter I wanted to keep it for myself oh and look I almost used him and I put him back so I wonder if he'll fit let's see just barely just barely oh yep he will okay all right, so this is the kind of thing that makes me happy. Just, you know, a lot of times it's just words, but other times, and of course right now, I wouldn't, I don't know. It could just be because I know people are going to see what I'm doing um, that that I just turn to stickers and stuff like that. Oh, I like that little ghost too. I've been hoarding him since last year. <laughs> you can see I've used quite a few of them, but I really like that little ghost. Well, we'll put him there because I know that pretty much all morning that's what it's going to be, errands. And then um, there isn't anything like critical tomorrow other than the, all the errands that I have to do. Okay, so that, that that then I start feeling like I've broken the ice with the page and I don't mind using the whole page when I'm in this notebook. There's all kinds of psychology, I guess, involved in this, but that is where I'm at. Let's see, I have a couple more. 
Oh yeah, and I had another, um, this is another of my, so I pulled out the mo my most used, like what I'd call handouts or papers. So I, I already showed you the one with the feelings. Where sometimes I don't know how I'm feeling. And I just look on here and I say, yeah, I'm feeling discouraged. Or or because there's positive ones too. But this one here, this is from way back when I was taking a 12 powers class at Unity. And it had the 12 powers. And then, of course, it had the, the disciple from the Bible. But it had the part of the body that's affected. And then it had the color. And I was always fascinated by that. And today I was looking at orange because that's what we're looking at. And, and it said zeal or enthusiasm. And it talking about orange. And of course I've got pamphlets and I even saved the book from that. I haven't saved very many of my books from studying to be a licensed Unity teacher. But the, the 12 powers ones I saved all of the everything I had to do with it because I was fascinated with it. And I felt like it also kind of connects with... Um, the chakras in a way but not not quite so i i guess the the thing would be it would be different for everyone whatever inspires you whatever you need to be looking at when you're um kind of reviewing your day or if you want resources available that's why i just absolutely love these and even my mom sends me quotes this one she just sent me oh i love this one from uh Catherine Hepburn's mother. If you do what interests you, then at least one person is pleased. <laughs> oh, and the hand is the finest tool of all by Lionel. And I don't know who this person is. I need to ask her. Lionel. Anyway, mom is really good about sending really, 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 really um, uh, inspirational quotes. And I have place for stickers in here, too. That's where I should have my Halloween stickers because... That, that's what I'm using them in right now, other than also when I journal. I mean, uh, write letters. Oh, and this is another one, too. This comes out of Power versus Force. <laughs> Lots of uh, feelings and, and uh, attributes and uh, detached, I think, being the positive one, and then removed being, yeah... I don't know. I just find it very helpful. And I also find this poem helpful, The Guest House. So it's more than just journaling. It's like a time out. And I would say I spend at least 30 minutes a day. I probably spent almost 30 minutes right here on this video. But uh, just about 30 minutes. And it really doesn't matter what goes onto the page. What matters is that process of slowing down to... And it's not like giving yourself a report card. It's more like checking in to see, am I taking care of myself? And uh, these were particularly nine things that, that Tim particularly thought were helpful and uh, proved helpful to him and to all of us in his depression support group in terms of um, uh, working through depression, healing it, preventing it, wherever stage you're at, even if you were at a really difficult stage if you could do one tiny thing to improve your sleep or your nutrition or to exercise if you could have one fun activity or do one kindness to someone even if it's smile at them if you could be grateful and and that's the next thing we'll be writing in here I don't I'm not going to do that on camera because that that ends up being real personal a uh, lot, lot of names that you'd recognize go into here like I'm super grateful for this person or that person um, and, and over here, of course, if you communicate with someone, whether it be a letter, an email, a text, um, gosh, it, it's, and that's interesting because that's gotten easier and easier for me now that I have pen pals. <clears throat> um, education is also something I love with reading or with watching a video to learn something new. And then meditation, which is an area that I can always be stronger in, that I can always be more consistent in. And so I, I strive toward that. I really hope that this has helped. I kind of recognize it's a little bit of a scattered kind of a video because I can't actually like dive in probably the way I would fully uh, knowing that I have an audience. But this is the starting anyway, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more written. It, it has been a very positive day. But I'm always looking for balancing it out, you know, um, for extracting the lessons. I think that's what, uh, 
yeah, that's what this one did. This that's what this journaling exercise did was like uh, you know, if you think about the most stressful thing that happened today or just ignore where it says this year and then uh how did I deal with it? Even if you just think that through in your mind, but oftentimes that helps me if I write that out. You know, what what exactly was it that uh, um you know, that I was dealing with, and then uh, what is the best thing I could have done or w could do next time? There's all kinds of questions. What do I need to let go of? I used to actually, I'm going to be honest here, I used to write out every one of these every day, but I graduated from that, but I don't want to be far from this little form. I like to have it nearby. It's too bad I can't find the one that's worded right. It'll turn up. I've got papers, you know, filed and everything. And then where it says, what are my goals for the next year um actually the the original one said what are my goals for tomorrow what do i want to accomplish feel complete or achieve and uh, to have a specific goal a plan of action and your why so you know i used to do much more formalized journaling but uh, i just swear by doing this um I love it and I just wanted to share it because if it helped one person, it'd be worth, you know, opening up the notebook. I know I didn't show you anything private, really, uh, you know, because that just doesn't make sense. But uh, I hope it did. I hope it will help somebody or give you an idea that's similar because certainly we're all different. We're all going to approach this in a different way. Woo, 31 minutes. I'm not sure whether my computer and my system can handle that. So I'm going to say goodbye now. But if you have any questions at all um, or if you have ideas that... Uh, about this type of journaling, um, I'd love to hear about them because I'm always adding to my, you know, the front of my book where I keep all these different things. Some of these things have been with me for years. This one's been with me since like 2010. So, I mean, that's an old piece of paper. That's pre-fountain pen for me. So, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Bye for now.